Madre di Dio e nostra, solennemente affidiamo e consacriamo al tuo cuore immacolato noi stessi, la Chiesa e l'umanità intera, in modo speciale la Russia e l'Ucraina. This feast day, the Holy Father Pope Francis has asked the whole world to especially pray for peace and pray for the consecration of Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Prayer has the power to transform the hearts and minds of those we cannot convince with our arguments with our strength, with our power. We will process with the Blessed Sacrament through the Buddha Marriage border crossing, stopping to pray at the border, uh, blessing Ukraine with the benediction of the Blessed Sacrament. Part of the prayer for Pope Francis is praying actually for the refugees fleeing war, of course an end to the war, and for those who are receiving the refugees. Cieszę się bardzo, że rycerze Kolumba zaprosili nas do tej wspólnej modlitwy właśnie tu, na granicy z Ukrainą. Dla mnie to był bardzo szczególny taki moment. I właśnie w tej najważniejszy czas my zwracamy się do jedynej naszej pomieszczeni. Jedynej pomieszczeni pisze Gospoda naszego Jezusa Chrysta. Jedynej pomieszczeni po Bozie. Wierzymy mocno, że to zawierzenie Matce Bożej przyniesie przełom w tym, w tym czasie wojny. Liczymy na cud. We as the Knights of Columbus, we are men of action, but we are also men of prayer. And today is the day when we show that the prayer has the power to transform the world. The whole situation that we are experiencing has a spiritual dimension. This is a spiritual warfare and we encourage every knight and every person of goodwill to join us in this battle 